Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's Word of the Week. Last week of half term, and it's a chance to think about all of the words we've looked at this half term and put them into action in one very, very simple word. It's part of our mission statement, and that word is respect. So today we're going to think about what respect means to me, to you, and how we can really show in some very simple ways that we understand the word. But before we begin, let's take a moment to welcome Jesus' presence into our worship. So if you've not already done so, shut your blinds. Perhaps pause me while you do this, but shut those blinds and bring somebody to the front to light the candle on your focus table and lead in making the sign of the cross, which we do now in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we gather here today to reflect on the word respect. Help us to open our hearts and minds to understand its significance in our lives. May your presence guide us through this act of worship and may we grow in wisdom and understanding. Amen. So we're thinking about our actions of this half term. We're thinking about whether they've shown respect. Have we shown respect to other people? But equally, have we shown respect to ourselves as well? I have a short Bible passage to read to you. It's from the book of Ephesians. Now, the book of Ephesians comes after Jesus. We've had the Gospels and Paul's out doing his discipleship. He's being a missionary disciple and he's writing letters to people. And this is one of the letters that he writes. And in it, he's talking about the ideas of things like unity, love, how to live, not just a good Christian life, but a good life. And he encourages people to treat others with kindness. I think I could sing a Harry Styles. I'm not going to sing Harry Styles to you, I promise. But I could at this moment. You know, he talks about kindness. He talks about forgiveness. He talks about respect. All the things that Jesus showed through his actions as well. Ephesians, as we're going to hear, reminds us about God's love and how to live as a community that cares for one another. So this is a letter from St. Paul to the Ephesians. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us, and gave himself up for us as an offering and sacrifice to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So what have you got from that? You know, respect, it's a word we talk about all the time. We say it in our mission statement. It's really, really powerful. And essentially it lies at the core of how we should treat each other. Our scripture reminds us of the importance of kindness, the importance of compassion. And they're the qualities along with forgiveness that are at the heart of respect. You know, my belief is that Christ forgives us and therefore, we're called to forgive others always, showing that kindness, showing that compassion. It goes beyond just treating each other as well, though. Respect goes much further than that. It means acknowledging the worth and the dignity of every single person, those that we come to in our immediate lives and those that perhaps we only hear about on the news. And now more than ever, it's important that we are aware, we are, we're very aware of what's going on within the world. You know, we need to recognise the dignity of every single person, regardless of background, beliefs and differences. If I'm going to be an imitator of God, I've got to show love to everyone, to all my neighbours. And when I respect people, that love is automatic. You know, it's really crucial for us, for you especially, that you understand it's not just a word. It's an action. That's what respect is. It means treating people with courtesy. It means listening to people's ideas. It means valuing people's opinions, even if they're different to yours. If we respect each other, 
we're going to create this beautiful environment, not just in our school, but spread a little bit of it worldwide, of love, of understanding, and therefore ultimately of harmony as well. And with those thoughts in our minds, I invite you to join me in prayer. We pray today for those who are victims of disrespect and discrimination. May they find solace and support in our community. We also pray for our leaders and our decision makers that they may act with respect and kindness towards those they serve. For you, the young people in our school, may you grow in your understanding of respect and put it into practice in your daily lives. We pray for our families, that they may be places of respect, love and understanding. And we pray for the marginalised and the vulnerable. May they be treated with the respect they deserve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So as we conclude our liturgical prayer this week, I have three challenges for you. Do one, do two, or do all three, if you can. The first one, can you engage in a conversation with someone who has different viewpoints to you and genuinely listen to them? Number two, really simple. Offer to help someone, really simple. You know, somebody in need, show some kindness, show some compassion. And then number three, let's go old school can you write a letter to somebody that you admire somebody that you really respect that shows your appreciation of them maybe do one maybe do two maybe do all three challenges but don't just wipe them off because remember i said at the beginning respect it's not just a word it is an action and when we get it right it is a really powerful action do you remember that scripture from the beginning from st paul be kind and be compassionate, be forgiving just as Christ forgives us. Well, if you've got that, if I've got that, if we've all got that this week, we're gonna change the school. Not just change the school therefore, but change our communities and perhaps have a little bit of an impact in the world. One act of respect at a time. And just as we welcomed Christ's presence into our act of worship at the beginning with the sign of the cross, will end with the sign of the cross now as well. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's do this. Little acts of respect. Write those letters. Hold doors open. Help somebody listen to people. And we're going to have a great week, everyone. Have a good one. Bye.